All right, guys, I want to give y'all a basic uh, down streaming video. I see on YouTube a lot where guys are talking about the remote downstream injectors, and I'm not knocking them by no means. If you have them, that's great. You know, it's a lot easier to push a button to change from one to the other than it is to uh, change a J-Rod. I mean, it's just a quick connect, but I mean, remote control, push a button, you're soaping. Push a button, you're not. But for you guys that are new and don't have that option yet, this is called a J-Rod. Don't know why it's called a J-Rod. I just know that it is. And you order this holder from a company. And then you order these tips to fit your machine. Alright, starting from this one right here. When I'm ready to downstream and I want to shoot it high, I'm going to change that tip and I'm going to put it into here. That's going to be my soap for the high spots. You know, that's your 35, 40 foot peaks on the end of a house, uh, your gutter lines, that's what that's gonna be. That's gonna be this one here. When you're getting ready to rinse up high, gutters, maybe you need a little bit more pressure. That's gonna be your, so this is gonna be your rinse nozzle. So this is your soap nozzle. This is your rinse nozzle for up high. Okay, this one right here is bigger, obviously bigger. This is your soap down low. So, you know, probably 20 foot you can get if it's not, the wind's not blowing, you can put your mix up there when you're down streaming. You just quick connect it from here, move that one over, and uh, then you're soaping. This one here is your rinse low. So about 20 foot down when you're rinsing, you know, this is what you want to do when you're uh, starting out and it's hot that day. You need to wet some windows down or you want to let wet a little bit of landscaping down or wet, wet the grass around uh, the driveway so you don't burn it up. That's the tip. So you got rinse low, soap low, rinse high, soap high, and for Maybe if you guys don't know how to use a quick connect, you know, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Uh, and I'm not right hand or left handed. So you gotta take this. Pull it back like that. And then whichever one you're wanting to use, Whichever one you choose to use, you put back in, and that's it. I hear guys talking about the remote injectors being a life changer or game changer on the rigs, and like I said, I'm not knocking anybody that has them. I'm not saying that anybody that has them is wrong for saying what they say, but I hear them say all the time, it's a, it's a game changer because when I'm soaping, I don't have to go back to the truck and drop a, a, a drop tube down into my water bucket to rinse. I mean, if that's the way you are washing, if you have like a, a thing of bleach and you have your, your downstream drop tube in it and then you're taking it out when you're ready to rinse and you take it out so you're pulling water or you're not pulling bleach anymore or you just take it out of the bleach so you're not using it anymore and you're using the tip yeah that's going to be tremendous tremendously quicker okay than a, a remote injector would be tremendously quicker but another way you can get by with that is just using a downstream injector use a downstream injector you have a j-rod i think you can get however many of these you want four six two three this one's four but this is just what i use if i'm out and i'm you know say i'm way out at the back of that property back there and i'm washing that building and my hoses are pulled if i'm soaping that thing okay 
if I'm soaping that building and I'm, I'm ready to rinse it, all I have to do is use this quick connect on the end of that gun and change this out from one to the other. If I'm rinsing it or if I'm soaping it, I'm using this tip right here and I go, okay, I got the whole building soaped. Now it's time for me to rinse it. I'm not going to come back to the truck, pull a drop tube, of that, drop tube out of bleach and then go from there. I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do is simply take that quick connect, pop this one in, wait about, I got 200 foot of hose, so it takes about 20 seconds to get through, and then I'm rinsing with water. So, like I said, in no way am I saying it's bad to have one of those. Like I said, also, uh, I would like to have one of the shooter tips and the M5 twist with the remote injector because I think that would be a lot better than using not so much better but I think I would like the the fan pattern and that better than this and like I said instead of having to pull that each time pull it each time pull it each time all you gotta do is hit a button hit a button fan your spray out with you know one of the m5 twist or any of the other nozzles but I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know if you're starting out you're trying if you are still pulling from a bucket and you're just you just have a soap tip and you go oh man i gotta pull my downstream injector out there my drop tube out from the bleach and put it you know so it's not so sucking up water anymore don't do that spend i think they're about 40 bucks spend about 40 bucks put in which machine you got they'll send you this you put you some tape around it tighten it up and uh yeah, make your life a whole lot easier. So that's my time for the day. That's a J-Rod. This is a gun I use. And uh, we'll catch you next time.